Hi everyone, my name is Chantal Van Santen and I'm the 2015 Austin Lung Hero. I'm here, like many of you, my life impacted by lung cancer. I lost my inspiration and a piece of my heart, my grandmother Doris Doima. I went to Austin in honor of her to attend the Lung Force Walk on February 28th. Unfortunately, Mother Nature was not on our side and the event was canceled due to ice. However, I am so thankful for all the hard work everyone put into the event, and I want to thank all the people that were involved. Our 2015 Lung Force sponsors were Cancer Treatment Centers of America, AstraZeneca, Central Texas Rehab Hospital, Cornerstone Hospital, Seton Healthcare Family, Adore Makeup Salon and Boutique, Smileworks Orthodontics, Green Sheet, Cotton Patch Cafe, High Brew Coffee, Live Soda and Kombucha, and Rogue Running. Also our event chair, Elizabeth Hunigans, and every single person that signed up to volunteer or participate in the walk. Thank you all for being involved in the 2015 Austin Lung Force Walk. We wish that with the weather would have been a little bit more cooperative as the day would have been so special for all of us. I know people traveled and committed to this event and it doesn't go unnoticed. What matters is the funds that we raised and hopefully the lives that we will change. Together, we almost raised $40,000. Now, the uh, we can still raise money through the end of the month, so I hope that uh, we can all have your continued loyalty in the future. With any situation involving challenges or despair, we make it through with our support group. For me, it's been my family and friends. I wanna mention a few of them that have been affected by the same loss and have committed to help making a change. First is my grandmother's other half, Dewey Doima. He lost his soulmate and his best friend when she died. At 85, he wants to make sure that he can create more awareness, which is why he flew to Austin and joined my team, Double D, to walk and share her stories and to hear other people's stories. Next are their two daughters, my aunt Diane and mother Denise Doima, Denise Padilla, who carry on her traditions and her legacy. My brother Benjamin and father Ben, they provide us with the best memories and stories of her as well. And there are so many others of my friends and family who joined Team Double D, and I wanna take a moment to say I'm so grateful for each and every one of you. Your support has helped me use this unfortunate loss as a positive step towards helping others and hoping that one day we can find a cure. I want to mention Jessie Padilla. All of you have received Lung Force emails from her, no doubt, especially if you've signed up or donated. I wanna shine a little light on this special soul. I've known her from the day that she was born, and she's always wanted to create positive change in our world. As a recent graduate, she was searching for a job, a job with meaning, with purpose, one where she could change lives. Four months after my grandmother's passing, her calling came. She got a job working with the American Lung Association on their Lung Force initiative in Austin. She worked for months on the event and was so disappointed to cancel it. Mm, almost heartbroken. <laughs> she exemplifies what my grandmother lived her life for, charity towards others and instilling hope. Jessie, my amazing sister, I am so proud of you. Your passion for this cause and your dedication honor our grandmother and I know she would be proud too. I reminisce about my grandmother's strength all the time. It was astounding to see her fight till the very end. I remember her determined eyes. She would always look at me and she would say, it is what it is. She faced her future with courage, faith, and grace until the day the disease took her life. Cancer may have taken her body, but her spirit and her legacy remain. And every time my heart beats, I feel her in my soul. I live each one of my uncertain days with a smile on my face and love in my heart, hoping that I can honor her each and every one of my days. There isn't a day that passes I don't miss her, but Lung Force has allowed me to honor her life in the best possible way, by inspiring others to share their stories and uniting to shine a light on lung cancer. I would like to end by sharing a letter. It's a letter I was going to share the day of the walk. I wrote this as a part of my healing process when my grandmother passed away March 27th, 2015. I can't believe that it's almost been a year. 
This letter is to the big ugly C word. I hope it helps you walk away with hope in your heart. Dear Cancer, I'm Chantal Van Zanten. Unfortunately, as you were aware, we have met. The circumstances weren't the best. See, you took the life of someone who made this world a better place. Our acquaintance has left a hole in my heart, which no amount of time seems to heal. But I'm not the only one. There are so many of us whose lives have been affected all by you. We all are seeking to understand, searching to see a way through all of our pain and just trying to make sense of a loss. We have so many questions and yet we are all struggling for meaning in your presence. You may feel like you have the power over us, but we see your limits. You cannot suppress our memories or silence our courage. You cannot invade our souls or shatter our hope. You cannot cripple our love and most of all, you cannot conquer our spirits. You may think all you have given us is grief, but really, you've given each of us a newfound gratitude for every breath, every moment, all of our experiences each and every day. In the end, we are victorious. You have brought us together to celebrate our loved ones and we stand here united fighting against you, knowing with all of our hearts, someday there will be a new C word that will take the place of you forever, cured. And when it is all said and done, we will be the ones standing strong and we will say to you, it is what it is. I just wanna thank you all again for your continued support and hope that I get to see you at one of the upcoming events and um, Thanks.